Hello, this is Branko from Ardento. Uh, this recording, uh, I'll be demonstrating how to create a very simple NetSuite suite script that will email somebody, so for example, a manager, when a new customer has been created. So suite scripts are basically JavaScript files, so they can be created using any text editor or any IDE, but um, I tend to favor the NetSuite Suite Cloud IDE um, purely because it has embedded documentation and code completion for the NetSuite uh, APIs. So to start with, we will create a new project and I'll call this uh, new customer notification. It's gonna be a Suite Script project. And within there, we want to create a new suite script file. And the script will be of type user event script. And we'll create a set of file name. So I like to prefix my file names with the uh, an abbreviation of, the, like a three character abbreviation of the customer that I'm working with. So in this case, I'll just use ARD for Ardento. The main reason for this, it just makes it really easy to find your scripts in NetSuite after you've uploaded it. Um, as you can imagine over time, uh, there may be quite a few suite scripts um, in there. So we're gonna just call this one new customer notification. And we we're gonna ask NetSuite to put in some uh, skeletal code in our file so we can work off that. So here's our code to start with. Um, the first thing that I usually do with my uh, scripts is to create a namespace um, in the script file. And the reason for that is it, um, it, it just means that if you have a, a function name that might be quite common in other scripts, uh, wrapping a namespace around it will ensure that there are no naming conflicts between your script and somebody else's or another script that you, you may have released to the system. So to do that, we just call this one cust controller. And I'll call this cust controller. That's about it there. And then it just means that you need to change your functions around a little bit. And we call it that. I'm gonna call, rename this function as well to send email, just again, so it's a bit easier to understand what the function does. And that's it, we've now wrapped a uh, namespace around our function send email. You can see NetSuite's given, NetSuite's given us a, a parameter here that's called type and some description as to what that is. So it's an operation of the event that's occurred. So whether it's a, a record's been created, edited, deleted. Um, in this example, we're not interested. We're only interested in emailing someone if a record has been created. So I'm going to say, put an if statement here. If type is not equal to create, then we simply exit out of our function. That's about it there. Okay, the next part is we need to access the, the field level details of the new customer that was created because what, what, what I want to do is in the email I want to show who the customer is and also who created the customer record. So firstly to get the customer record we can create a variable here called customer record and we use a NL API method here called get new record. Easy. The other things I wanted to do was get the user or the details of the user who created the record from the context. So I'm going to call another variable called context, which will be simply get context. So that context object will give us information about various things, but uh, one thing that we're more interested in is getting the user out of that. And I'm gonna create another one called employee record, which will be our user that's logged in. I can load that. 
information in by going to load record. We're interested in the employee record and the ID is simply our context and the user. We're not interested in anything else there. Next, I want to set some variables up which will be the parameters for our email. So I want to write uh, who the recipient will be. So in this case, it will be myself acting as the manager. We want to set the subject. I'll just say this one, new customer alert. And the email body, which can be HTML. So you can make the content of the email just look a bit more pleasing to read. So I'm going to put a bold heading in there called new NetSuite customer. And on the next line, I will have the customer name. Customer name coming out of our customer record that we created up here. And we want to get your value entity ID, which is our customer name. Now, I know it's entity ID because I've used that uh, ID many times in various scripts, but uh, an easy way to check what a field name is for a field in NetSuite is if you just um, jump to a, a record that you're interested in. So in this case, I'll look up a, a test customer and you can click on these titles up here and scroll down. You can see the field IDs there. So that's really handy. So once we have the customer name, we then want to also lastly just quickly add who created it. So another title here, created by. Oops. And we've got our employee record up there. So I'm just going to copy Paste that, get field value, first name. Again, you can use that example that I just showed you how to get the uh, field level IDs out. So that's pretty much it. That's, that's the body of our email. So the last bit we need to just put in here is the API call for sending an email. So email API send email. So here we need to add in the um, user ID. So that's coming out of our context. Get user. Next we want to put in the documentation help has disappeared there. So if that ever happens, you can always just send email. That's better. So we need the author, so who the email is going to be sent from. The recipient. We can leave there because we've got the same variable name there, the subject and the body. The rest of it we are not interested in. So we'll give that a quick save. Um, another handy feature if you use the Suite Cloud IDEs, you've got cool shortcuts here. So you can see if I right click, hit NetSuite, I can upload the file to my NetSuite account. New customer notification will be the folder. Once that's done, we can flick over here. And just to show you where that, that suite script gets updated to, you can go into Documents and uh, Files, Suite Scripts. And we can see here, New Customer Notification. 
and there's our new sweet script here. So that's just showing the actual file um, that got uploaded. So the next step we actually need to do is we need to tell NetSuite about the script so it can access it in the uh, event handlers. So we go into um, customization, scripting scripts. We'll create a new one. And this is why I like prefixing the uh, file name with the uh, company abbreviation because now I can just go ARD and see my new script in there. We need to tell NetSuite what type of script this is. So this is a user event script. And then we just need to fill in some uh, fields here. So for example, um, you know, the name can be anything. We're gonna call this one just so again, so it's easier to, uh, to identify in the list. Uh, new customer notification. Uh, we can give it an ID. New customer. And that's pretty much it. Oh, the after submit function. So this is actually the name of our function that we created. So we just need to copy that bit there. And so we, so we can save that. So now we have our script. So now NetSuite knows about our script. Now we need to deploy it. So what we can do here is tell it that we want to deploy it to the customer entity. And we don't need to worry about an ID. You can change the status of it to say testing or release. So if we leave it as testing, it just means that um, uh, it will only work if you're logged in as an administrator with rights to, uh, to test it. The event type, we want it to call our script on the create event. So when the customer is created, save that. That's it. So to test that, we can just try and create a new customer here. So if we go into um, relationships, customers new. Let's call this one Ardento. Give it a subsidiary. And that's all the required fields, I believe. So if we just hit save. So NetSuite's given us a confirmation that the customer has been saved. And if I check in my email, I can see that there's an email from uh, NetSuite. New customer, Adento, created by myself. That's it. Thanks very much for watching.